Now, listen, you guys, the streets are saying that JT, Nicki Minaj, and, of course, Akba V might actually be coming together for a collaboration. And uh, we're going to be talking about that in this video. We're also going to be talking about Tiana Taylor and Iman. They are seemingly not seeing eye to eye with some very serious allegations. And uh, Summer Walker is out there being accused of being fake and trying to ride on Nicki Minaj's wave. And and uh, we're going to be talking about Pink Friday too. You guys doing his thing, um, you know, this week again on Billboard 200. And uh, we're going to be talking about I Spice and the Super Bowl gig that she got. And uh, it seems like Monique and Glorilla actually have a beef. This is something that I did not see coming at all. Now, these are the things that we're going to be talking about in this video. Hello, tea lovers, and welcome to the tea plug. I trust you guys are doing well, and I trust you are doing great. Personally, I am doing great, you guys. I am doing extremely amazing. And uh, without further ado, let us dive straight into today's team. So first of all, you guys, we're going to talk about Nicki Minaj and this entire JT situation. Now, you know that previously I did report that Nicki Minaj was out there posting a picture of herself with the caption, no bars, all right? JT decided to take that very picture and she posted it on her Instagram uh, with um, a caption that read, Rick boots on my tippies. And uh, so people are seemingly, um, you know, thinking that, well, this might actually be an open Opening line to JT's verse, um, you know, on F the club up or right now. Nicki Minaj did promise a deluxe version, and so yeah, people are convinced that oh well, this might actually be JT hinting on um, you know a collaboration with Nicki Minaj and Rick Boots on my tippies could be her entry line. Now, personally, what do I think about a collaboration? Uh, by JT and Nicki Minaj, I feel like that would be really amazing, and I could see that being a cute uh, play of that initial iconic uh, line that Nicki Minaj has on F the Club Up. So I could see that being a little thing, and I do feel like their voices really do complement each other. I am one of the people who, are made, who were actually mad when I uh, know Buzz, uh, the remix with Nicki Minaj, did not come out because I could see her fitting perfectly in that flow. So now I cannot. Uh, you know, wait to see if indeed it is true. I can't wait to see what Nikki has in store for us uh, together with JT. Now, JT is not the only person who is alleged to be on the remix. Now, Akba V is also, um, you know, alleged to be on the remix, you guys. Now, you do know that, well, uh, besides Nikki Minaj hinting that Akba V is so quick with her pen, Akba V herself also had a little play with the very famous line, High Hells on my TP. Now, Nicki Minaj was out there praising Akbar, obviously saying that, well, I might release a new verse every day beginning tonight, since, well, since I can. I know one thing, say what you want about, but Akbar would have that verse done, did, and delivered, child. That's how I always been Roman to you, all right? And then so uh, Akbar V came and said, Dr. Kev's did my, you know, tears. Um, didn't have to botch my face because I'm I'm real dope pretty and I was like Akba with the transformer shade like she would not waste a chance to shade the transformer and I'm just like their beef is one that seemingly is never going to end but that being said you guys I think in F the club up with Akba V and JT would really be such a cool um you know uh, remix to F the club up so yeah do hop into the comment section you guys and let me know what you think about JT and Akba V being on F the club up now one person who is not famous with the bubs is Summer Walker now besides continuously retweeting and posting a retweet of Nicki Minaj's tweet and lyrics it seems like oh well um she's also out there constantly using Nicki Minaj's sound of um you know f the club up and lately she has been really uh surrounding herself with pink stuff and stuff like that and people have been saying that oh well she is in her bab era all right now some bubs are not convinced that this is true love that she is showing to Nicki Minaj they feel like well she has probably realized that right the Transformers cocktail is not going to get her anyway and now she has decided to reattach herself to Nicki Minaj as well now personally what do I think I love love Nicki Minaj and um, I'm also not oblivious to the fact that F the club 
up is really that song right now. It's the song that people quickly think about when they want to make a reel. And I do feel that um, Summer Walker included would also want to use F the club up. All right. So I do think that while she is a hopping and showing support to a trending song. Now, whether her intentions are genuine or not, only she knows that okay only she um can tell only she can tell us exactly what's tea all right because we have seen people constantly showing support for Alteria because of Alteria motives so personally i'm just like if they do drop a song together i'm here for it if they don't it is what it is but i'm not gonna be pressing Nicki Minaj to say oh my goodness work with Summer Walker because she has proven to be shady before all right and uh, the next thing that we're gonna be talking about you guys Ice Spice so allegedly Ice Spice has called herself a little gig with the Super Bowl it is being reported that she will appear alongside Starry Mascots Lem and Lime in an upcoming Super Bowl ad all right now one thing about Ice Spice and their management is they are going to get themselves a good bag all right and um yeah congratulations to her on that little cute gig that she got all right and uh meanwhile lottery ticket is somewhere uh putting a tongue out and uh, i don't know acting a fool and trying to act hood and stuff like that whilst i spices out here collecting the bag and um you know minding her own business now the next thing that i'm going to be talking about you guys i am going to be talking about tiana taylor and iman all right now it is being reported you guys that um tiana is claiming that iman ignores the safety of um you know their children in his care and uh, she's also accusing him of being under the influence during his time with them and uh honestly speaking it's always sad to see things like this happen um for the longest of time the two of them have been couple goals for a lot of people and they have been to certain people they have been like the you know that picture perfect uh you know black couple and things like that and so when things start falling apart like this it said you guys i did see some dads in the comment section saying oh my goodness it wasn't a problem when they were still together why is it a problem now and i'm like well maybe because when they were together she also was keeping an eye on the kids but now when she, when he has the kids, she's not there 100% of the time. So maybe that's why it's now a concern. Do you understand what I'm saying? You, sometimes you don't need to have a PhD to, um, you know, have common sense. Honestly, you guys. Like, seriously. <laughs> but do hop into the comment section, you guys, and uh, let me know what you think about that. All right. Now, the next thing that... Um, we're going to be talking about you guys is Pink Friday 2. So Pink Friday 2 is out here doing its things, all right? And I love, love to see it, all right? Well, it is actually being reported, you guys, that Pink Friday 2 is um, 8,000 to 7,000 units away from a second week at number one, all right? And uh, honestly speaking, we love to see it, all right? We extremely love to see Nicki Minaj winning like this. I cannot emphasize enough how I feel like she's very deserving of all the good things that are happening to her so yeah do hop into the comment section you guys and just drop another congratulatory message um you know to Nicki minaj for that all right now the next thing that i'm going to be talking about you guys i am going to be talking about monique and glorilla you guys yes not the monique that you're thinking about a different monique um so you guys it is seemingly um you know, monice why am i calling her? oh my goodness Mo monice is the one that used to be with um this boy and feeds feeds is that so low feet that's monice right correct me if i'm wrong you guys but she's from love and hip-hop i know that um so monice you guys and glorilla seemingly do have like an issue which i am like this is some random beef <laughs> if, I'm, if i'm if i'm gonna be honest so after um you know cousin sloth posted um a snippet of a new music and she's talking about yes glow and um you know slipping bees and stuff like that which had people really think that herself and jt something really truly happened uh, so after she posted that um uh, monice went i had to comment and said but i bet she won't ever leave out this uh these lyrics to face 
uh, to my face after what she said about me and my son in my DM. Cost me 67k uh, during the holidays right before my son's birthday. And as much as folks like to talk down on me, I was still getting to the bag after four years of not being on TV. I wasn't even um, a threat. Why address me in pri privately after I said what I said with no lies told? Publicly slide into my DS DMs and you opening and your opening statements are about my child. Then you wait for me to respond and then you report the DMs you initiated to have my page deleted. But luckily, I screenshot everything and was able to send it to Meta Legal and get my page back almost a year later. And I'm still waiting to recoup that 67000 back. So if I'm comprehending well, it seems like the two of them had an issue after Moniz commented on something that had um, that was in relation to Glorilla and Glorilla... Glorilla Oh my goodness, did I just call it that? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to stick to Cousin Sloth, you guys. And Cousin Sloth went into Monissa's DM and uh, her opening lines were uh, probably being, um, her, her being disrespectful to Monissa's child, which to which Monique, uh, pro Monissa probably responded, um, you know, with, um, I don't know, maybe she went below the belt and Glorilla ended up reporting Monissa's page and Monissa is now claiming that she had to lose $67,000 because her page was taken down. Now, I've been known that Cousin Sloth is a dad. Like, when you look at her, when you watch her move, you can tell that this is a dad for real, all right? And uh, I don't know, you guys, do hop into the comment section and let me know if you saw this beef coming. Personally, I did not see this beef coming at all. This is the most random beef that I have ever seen on the internet, all right? But anyway, you guys, um, thank you very much for watching and uh, thank you very much for making it this far. If you haven't already, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and do turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified each and every time that I post because I post each and every single day and um, I keep you updated on what's happening in the celebrity world on Instagram, on Twitter and up. Oh my goodness, you guys, I forgot to talk about this. I'm really, truly sorry. But yesterday we spoke about how Michael B. Jordan was out here comparing, uh, you know, B women uh, to Coretta. <laughs> Don't ask me why I'm laughing, you guys. Now, this is turning into a whole conversation. I was about to talk about the Coretta thing and, of course, Coretta's children not being able and uh, not liking, um, you know, uh, him using, um, you know, uh, Coretta as, um, you know, as an example. This is uh, what uh, Benice King uh, had to say, who is reportedly the daughter of Coretta Scott King. Um, she said, my mother wasn't a prop. She was a peace advocate before she met my father and was instrumental in him speaking out against the Vietnam War. Please understand, my mama was a force. Here's what I wrote about her a few years ago, and she put a link um, to that article, all right? And rightfully so. Like, it's very infuriating to see somebody who's out here, was out here chasing, um, you know, her own uh, YT Karen, and now is trying to uh, call, like... A black woman that's actually supporting her Coretta, like, are you okay? So the reason why I was laughing, you guys, is just as I was about to report, I was, um, you know, simultaneously scrolling through Instagram, and I bumped into a post by the neighborhood talk, and I was like, people are so mean and crazy, you guys. So it's basically footage of uh, Megan Good working out, and they captioned it: Coretta training to fight for a man with the clippers sitting right. <laughs> Honestly, you guys, I'm just like, whoa, whoever wrote that on the neighborhood talk is not seeing it. <laughs> I laughed so hard, you guys. I'm just going to say this. <laughs> no, listen, you guys, this ain't correct training to fight for her men with the clapper sitting right. <laughs> Oh, this, is, this is not right on so many levels. This is so wrong, you guys. I'm sorry that I had to dive it a little bit. But I just saw this and I thought it was hilarious. And I thought I could share it with you, you guys. But hey, thank you very much for watching. And um, until my next one, you guys, see you.